Hey everyone, what's up? So this video is gonna be about which is the best motor driver L293 D or L298 N Spoiler alert, it's L298 N So let's get started Okay, so let's first talk about L293 D the L293 D is a quad triple high current edge bridge driver which is designed to provide bidirectional drive current of up to 600 milliampere at voltage from 4.5 to 36 volt. It is designed mainly to drive inductive load such as relays, solenoid, DC and bipolar stepper motors. The driver are enabled in pair with driver 1 and driver 2 by enable 1 and 2 and the driver 3 and driver 4 are enabled by enable 3 and 4. It can operate at 0 to 70 degrees Celsius and require an additional heatsink for working with temperature greater than 70 degrees. Uh, so I have a question. Where we can buy this IC from? You can buy this from utsource.net along with any discrete electronics component, SMD, THT, everything. Link is in video description. Let's see its pin diagram. The pin 1 is enable 1 and enable 2, which is the enable pin for driver 1 and 2. This need to be pulled high. Pin 2, 7, 10 and 15 are the driver inputs. We connect the digital port from an MCU with these pin. The pin 3, 6, 11 and 14 are the driver output. Basically we connect motors with this pin. The pin 9 is enable 3 and 4 which is enable pin for driver 3 and 4. This need to be pulled high as well. The pin 4, 5, 12 and 13 are the ground pin. The VCC one is pin 16 which is the VCC supply for internal logic transistor and the VCC two is the 4.5 to 36 volt power supply for motors. In short when the A is high and enable is also high output will be high. When the A is low and the enable is high the output will be low. For driving motor with this motor driver IC you can use any microcontroller in existence as we just need to pull high or low certain pins of this IC which can be done quite easily. But for simplicity let's hook this setup with an ESP32 and control a DC motor with it. I have used the small gear DC motor for this job as our driver is not capable of providing 1 ampere to this motor so we really need a small motor for this job. Here's the schematic that we need for wiring. And this is the result. Now let's look at our second candidate which is the L29 A10 motor driver IC. It is an integrated monolithic circuit in a 15 LED multiwatt and power SOC20 package. It is a high voltage current dual full bridge driver designed to accept TTL logic levels and drive inductive load such as relays, DC and stepper motors. The two enable input are provided for enabling or disabling the device independently of the signal. Its pin diagram is this and these are the pin functions. The pin 1 and 15 is the sense A and sense B. Between these two pins and register is added to control the current of load. The pin 2 and 3 are the out 1 and out 2 which is the output of bridge A. The pin 4 is the VS which is the supply voltage for motors. The pin 5 and 7 is the input 1 and input 2 for input of bridge A. The pin 6 and 11 is the enable A and B. The ground pin is pin 8. The ninth pin is the VSS which is the supply voltage for internal logic transistors. 
the 10 and 12 pin are input 3 and 4 for bridge B. The 13 and 14 is the output 3 and 4 for bridge B. This IC can handle voltage between 4V to 40V at 3A maximum. So yeah, this is far greater than L293 D's current which is 600mA. Also you can buy this IC from utsource.net as well. Here is its working schematic and with that you can build your own circuit like this one. Or buy an existing module from the internet. So the conclusion of this video is The winner is L29A10. Now the L29A10 was an obvious winner as this IC can drive bigger DC motors. So it can be used in robot projects without any issues. But the L293D on the other hand is small and not very efficient for anything more than driving some basic things. So don't get me wrong, L293D is a great motor driver but it is great for controlling small motors like this one. But if you want to make something big, definitely use L29A10 or its successor which are these expensive drivers. I hope this video was helpful. If yes then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.